Now we are going to be moving on to adding, gluing everything together and then adding the newspaper. So I do want to say um, two more measurements that I made and added on, which will also be very helpful to make your animal proportional. So I traced my head out, okay, just the red line, and I cut it out and I just cut out this entire shape and then I cut it in half and then I have one half of the head on that side and then I'm going to hot glue the other half on this side. Um, make sure it doesn't go above here and make sure everything on your body is rounded. Okay, you don't want any geometric edges. So if it looks squared off, just take a um, X-Acto knife and just kind of slice it down, okay? Um, I also made the measurement of my foot right here and I just measured how wide it was. I made a little piece of cardboard um, and I cut that into sections and glued that together right here, okay? So the hot glue guns, obviously they are hot, so you need to be careful. Uh, you can typically get away without taping this stuff on. However, um, if it's something you can't like hold in place because you'll burn your fingers, you would want to uh, tape it first and then hot glue it. So I've marked all my pieces um, to, be, to know exactly where they're going to be placed. Um, so I am going to just show you how to do some hot gluing. Um, it's not rocket science. So my hot glue gun is on. I'm going to be gluing the hip to the back. So I'm just using the hot glue. You don't have to be too careful because all of this is really going to be covered up. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind is the level at which they stand. Okay. So if, um, if they're not balanced, your animal is going to keep falling over. So make sure they're at the same height. Okay. Now hot glue is, um, it glues to better together very quickly. However, uh, it's not instant. So be mindful of that. Um, you can see that I glued the leg into the hip socket first. Um, I would highly recommend doing that because, um, it's a lot easier to work with if you do it that way. Okay. So I'm not going to glue this whole side together to show you on the video, but basically um, I'm just going completely opposite. I'll be putting the belly in there, uh, the other leg. Um, I'll show you this one. So to glue in my leg to the socket, I'm just going to add some glue right there. I'm going to push up, push it up inside. Make sure it's about halfway, okay? When I place it on here, I wanna also make sure it's at the right height, okay? So I'm gonna just do a little bit more gluing. Now, if this was on the body and I was trying to glue, uh, it would be hard to get my hand kind of wrapped up in, or in that position to get it connected well, okay? One other thing for the head, um, I, if you can see, I kind of angled the head. Uh, I looked at my picture and determined like, you know, the elephant's head kind of is diagonal. It's not just straight up and down. Um, and this is where his tusk come out from and they come out right above his mouth. So that's why I angled it. A lot of them will be angled. Um, there are some cases where it's going to be just straight up and down, like my orangutan um, was straight up and down. Okay, so that's all I'm going to show you for right now. Um, we're going to go over to the table and I'm going to talk about adding the newspaper. Okay, um, the first thing is the newspaper, you can see over by the slab roller, there's a whole bin there of newspaper and you can help yourself to that. Um, usually it's slid underneath the slab roller. Make sure. 
Okay, so you can also see I have all my images out. Um, the images are going to help me see uh, some more details that maybe I can't see or use with just the armature that I created. Okay, so um, let me just uh, think about real quick. I wrote out some notes. So another thing I added here is another measurement. It's the belly, and it's just to help me kind of attach the newspaper to these sections more easily, and it also gives me another measurement proportion-wise, okay? Um, when you are adding the newspaper, you don't want to add any thickness above the body or below the body or anywhere outside of the, the hip edge, the belly edge, um, or the head edge, because that just makes it fatter. And realize the last layer that we do, the skin, which is plaster, um, that will add a little bit of thickness as well. Um, it's not a ton. You can use it to build up. So some of you will probably be doing that for details in the face, but just realize that's gonna add a thickness so you don't want this to go out past. It could even stop short a little bit of, of right here. It could go just right on the inside. When you are using the newspaper, okay, you're not folding it like a present and getting the paper like that. You're kind of making a wad, all right? Um, so open up the newspaper and kind of crumble it in your hand. The first thing you want to do, wherever your body is thickest, um, you'll be adding the newspaper. But conveniently, and a lot of you will have the same um, scenario, is there's little spaces behind here where I can kind of tuck in the newspaper underneath. Okay. Um, the shapes that you are going to be making are mostly... Uh, ball pieces and maybe some like oval shapes um, to get some of the structure of like the hips and the lower legs but this first part you're just going to kind of be sticking it in there now very important that this newspaper is compacted that it's not wiggly and can move around so um, just keep building up until that is is happening At this point, I can start adding my tape to make sure it stays tacked down and in there. Um, the tape is over on top of the countertop and I just have some pieces pulled off the table over here on the side um, so that me and my friends at my table can share it. Okay, the tape needs to be tight against the piece um, and you need to make sure again that it's compacted so press it up against there really well um, you shouldn't be able to wiggle it around too much so maybe one more piece of tape I actually am getting pretty close to the thickness that I need for the belly um, back here maybe just one more little bit when I start to build up the shoulders you can think about what a shoulder looks like it's rounded and then it tapers um, it's rounded and then it tapers down here to the leg um, So to to get you know that shape again, I'm gonna ball up a piece of newspaper I don't want to add much thickness out here. So sometimes putting something like this on adds way too much thickness so I simply have like an oval shape right here that I just glued onto the side. I'm gonna glue another one onto the side and I can see as it gets closer to the head, that's his neck right here. And it's just gonna slowly get a little bit skinnier as it goes in. And that is also going to be shown here in this top image, like how the body just slowly tapers in behind the ears. Um, that's a good, something I wanted to bring up too is my ears. So I have my ear pieces cut out in cardboard. However, because they kind of block my body when they're attached, if they're attached, I wouldn't be able to do this newspaper build up. So um, after I get my newspaper built up to where I need it to be, oops, 
to where I need it to be, then I would go ahead, um, oh, sorry, and the plaster, um, which is the last part, the last layer, then I can go ahead and add those on, and then I would do a, a, the last layer of my plaster, okay? Um, let's see. So it is better to make smaller pieces with the newspaper um, because you can always add on more to it, okay? Um, so if, if you have, you know, a really big piece here and it goes out above there, you can't really add any more on and you've messed up those proportions, okay? Again, I am pressing this up against here. So this process takes, again, a little bit of thinking. Um, these, these pictures are really going to be helpful to have in front of you as you're sculpting or even the website up as you're, you're sculpting. Um, for the face, when you get to this step, uh, maybe you do a tiny bit of buildup depending on the size of your face, but a lot of your face is going to be done with the plaster cloth that we're gonna use because you can still sculpt with the plaster cloth. Um, so thin things, maybe like my trunk um, and my detailed face, I would wait to do that sculpting when I get into there and that fine tuning with the plaster cloth and I'll show you guys how to sculpt with that as well. So make sure when you get that body built up, you've left a little bit of space on the edges um, and that it's very compacted, okay? All right, can't wait to see what you guys get.